Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today, we are going to be going over my final review of the For Honor beta before it comes out tomorrow. Now, I will be buying it. Um, I was kind of on the fence. I was like, eh, but one of my friends already bought it, and he said he's going to play it a lot, so I might as well just pick it up. It's not too big of a deal, uh, so I'll be grabbing that tomorrow, but let's get into my final thoughts on the beta. So, as you're seeing right now, this is some Warden gameplay. I decided I... For this beta, the open beta, I wouldn't use my Pokey Pokey Naboshi. I wouldn't use the Orochi, who I want to try to practice with and get good at. Um, the Peacekeeper, those are... I th the, now, I'll get into it, but those were my three favorite characters coming into the open beta. I hadn't played much Orochi, and I wasn't that good with Peacekeeper, but I enjoyed using her. With Warden, though, now that I've used Warden, which I'm really happy that I did, I'm really happy that I was like, okay, this is an open beta, don't give a... Don't give a single, don't give a shit, and just use whatever character, you know, you think looks cool. And I thought the warden looked cool, he's kind of got that, that, I, I like the knight look, um, like it's, it just looks like a classic knight. And he's a really balanced character, he's got a lot of, um, he's got good defensive, but not great defensive, he's got good offensive, but he's not really great offensive character. Um, in like Dominion or 4v4 like you're seeing now, which is Dominion, um, it is kind of a struggle to get to rack up kills. Now, I have this gameplay and one more, which I'm just going to upload the other one as a raw because I don't want to be uploading beta footage once the full game comes out. So, I'm going to go ahead and get both of these gameplays out today. Now, I'm not sure which one will go up first, but they're both going to go up today. Uh, but, the Warden, uh, I think it's really close with Naboshi. Those two are my really my two favorites right now. I really want to get good with the Orochi. I think he could be my favorite character, but I haven't used him enough. And if I could get good with Peacekeeper, she could probably be my favorite. Like those four right now are really fighting it out. I don't like the Shield guys, and I don't like the Samurai heavy. Um, though I, I can pretty much cross those three out. I've played a little bit with each, and I don't really like them. Um, I do kind of like the heavy Viking for two v twos and one v ones. Um, but other than that, I'm not really a fan of him either. So I've really narrowed it all the way down to four characters. Naboshi, Orochi, uh, Peacekeeper, and Warden. Uh, but there are some characters coming out once the full game releases. Valkyrie is one. And I think she looks like a character that I would be interested in, so I'll have to give her a try. Um, but that, I think that's enough on the characters. Um, there, there are advantages and disadvantages to some characters. And there's some characters, if someone's really good with the character, they're a little bit more overpowered than some. Like, if a really good Peacekeeper ran into a really good Warden, the Peacekeeper should win. I mean, there's just some... I don't know how... There's not really any balancing they need to do other than maybe nerf Naboshi just just, the, just a little bit. Her Pokey Pokey is just a little bit OP, and this is, like, from a Naboshi player. So, just a little bit of a nerf, Ubisoft. Just, just a shade nerf, maybe a little less health. Make her a little bit more squishy, and make her do just a little bit less damage. And I think I think we that that'd be the formula to making her not as annoying and OP of a character. She's really OP if you know how to play her, um, but I don't really know how to nerf her because what makes her OP is her weapon. So unless you're going to shorten her full arm, which doesn't make any sense, you can't really nerf her that. You can't really nerf what makes her OP. So you got to make her a little more squishy and do a little less damage. Um, but let's move on to the game modes. 1v1s, good. 1v1s are, are fine, nothing needs to be changed there. 2v2s, I would like if... There's not really a fix to this, but it's really easy to just run away. And, like, run to the other one and gank them really quick in a 2v2. But there's not really anything you can do about that. The maps are pretty good. I would maybe like to see a rotation of 5 areas on a map. So that, you know, if it goes, you don't repeat areas. It's just a clean... Um, revolve of the five different areas. That's the only thing I could say for 1v1s and 2v2s. Um, maybe let us gain our abilities in 2v2s in case someone's just running around being an idiot. Um, that's the only reason for that. But other than that, 1v1s and 2v2s are fine. For um, Let's go with 4v4 elimination. Um, it, it has its weird quirks, and I don't think they should change them. I know some people want them to change them, but I don't think they should. It makes it another interesting game mode. 
Um, it's, it's another unique game mode. Now, I wish they would add, they would keep the 4v4 elimination they have, but also add like a 4v4 that's like the 1v1s and 2v2s without the buffs and whatever uh, healing and stuff like that that's in the 4v4s. I think they should leave it like that, but also give us an option of a 4v4, um, more of a competitive game mode, 4v4 elimination, no healing, no stuff like that. Um, moving on to Dominion, I think there's one change one or two changes they should make with the minion i think that um in the minion the revenge meter shouldn't build as fast as it does it needs to build a little bit slower because there are some characters that get revenge in like two hits in the minion like they won't get them in regular game like 1v1s 2v2s 4v4 elimination but they get them in dominion uh you you'll hit them like twice and maybe your teammate hits them once and they'll have revenge, or even quicker than that. I think sometimes I hit them once and they have revenge. Um, and I just think it needs to be toned down just a little bit. Revenge just needs to be, I don't know, make it take like 25-30% more time to charge, or more hits to charge or whatever. Uh, and I think that would balance that out. Um, for the... Once you're breaking the enemy team... Um, I think there needs to be um, there needs to be a score limit because, like I've shown, like I think I've talked about and shown in a couple of gameplays, you can just run around forever, especially with Peacekeeper, Naboshi, Orochi, um, the Berserker. There's a couple of characters that you can just run around forever, and they're never going to catch you if you're smart. Um, I think I had a match where I kited them for six minutes, <laughs> something like that. I kited the enemies for like five or six minutes a couple of times. So, it's, there needs to be a score limit like 16 or 1700, so if, so, so there could be a winner opposed to, oh, we just chased this person around for 6 minutes and the game ended and we won. There needs to be a score limit like 1600, maybe 15, 15 is a little low because I do have some games that go to 1400 and they're pretty close, um, like we'll both be breaking, uh, so 1400, or 1500 is a little iffy, but maybe 16, 1700. That's even, that would be probably around the sweet spot. Sweet spot. Um, and so, just to kind of make the games a little bit more, less run around forever at the end of the games, more just, you know, let's get into this, let's fight, let's do this, instead of whatever we do now, which is run around like a bunch of idiots and chase one person, or you're the idiot running around getting chased. Because uh, you, you have zero chance to win the fight 1v4 or 1v3. Like, even if you get revenge, you're not going to win a 1v3. Uh, if it's a 1v2, you can obviously win. Like, I'll fight 1v2s, but 1v3s is pretty much just a, just a GG. It's just over. Um, which I do like about this game. It's realistic. I wish they would tone down a little bit of the friendly fire. Um, I get why it's in the game. It's a good it's a good mechanic in the game because it makes sense. You know, you're in a sword fight. You should watch out for your teammates. Um, I think they should just tone it down just a little bit because you, like, throw your teammate out of their... You, like, totally ruin your teammates fight if you come in and swing and hit them on accident like i feel like it should do a little damage it should move them a little it should you know knock them a little bit but i feel like it just needs to be toned down just a little bit because right now it's the equivalent of like just nailing the enemy um and it's a little bit it, it like it's supposed to discourage 2v1s like really ganking someone like 4v1s i guess but i feel like ganking someone 4v1 if it's a 1v4 or a 1v2 and that's all that left like if you're fighting a 2v1 at the end of a game whether whatever game mode it is the two should always win unless you suck and the other guy's good the two the two should always win and it's not the case with revenge because revenge and um friendly fire kind of ruins you, you can't really take advantage of your numbers advantage now i know like honor you should just let them 1v1 and then you should 1v1, but uh, if you want to win and you want, like, it, this isn't Dark Souls, which really you don't have to have honor in Dark Souls, but like you do, like people, we just, like the Dark Souls community used to have honor, it's just a cool thing, we, you just have honor. Even for honor, the whole point, the whole point is to win, you're fighting for honor, you know, this isn't a game about honor, I guess is my point, and so, like, I feel like if you're in a 2v1, you should have the advantage. Would you really... You do at this point in the game, but you don't. Because with Revenge and with friendly, with the excessive friendly fire that there is, because 
it always seems like you hit your your teammates at the worst times but with the revenge it makes 2v1s about fair which is not what they should be if i eliminate the other guy we should win like if i kill my guy and then it's me and my friend left against one guy we should win but i guess that's my opinions uh that's my last impressions of the beta i hope you guys enjoyed drop a like if you did subscribe if you haven't and i'll catch you all tomorrow with some of the campaign for for honor hopefully i can record it before i go to work uh if not i'll have it up after i get home and i'll maybe do a live com of my first game on the full game so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you guys then peace out